what a year, right? Not the year we all expected to come in it. What a day. What a spectacular day and what a couple. What a couple. This was not the celebration that we had originally planned. We had certainly planned for a larger celebration, but perhaps today's celebration is even more special and beautiful than what we originally planned, given the intimacy. And it allows us to focus today on the sacrament of marriage and on the love between Kristen and Graham. They shared with me, Graham and Kristen, that when they met, they said that you know, they, they feel like they had known each other forever. They were comfortable. They didn't need to put on airs that they could be themselves with each other. It's not an accident. It's God's gift. It's God's providence. You know, We celebrate today God's call to both of you. It's a vocation that the hand that joins your hands together today is the hand of God, that our Lord Jesus will always be with you. May the joy of Christ and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, hold you together, hold you in his love, and fill you with his joy always. I, Graham, take you, Kristen. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Kristen, take you, Graham. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Kristen, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit. Graham, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Tonight we celebrate and we give thanks to what we witnessed today and to what God blessed in the marriage of Kristen and Graham. So my Kristen, my mini, <laughs> Kristen could light a room up with her smile from the day she was born. And it was many years of her lighting up our lives as a young girl, a young lady, and now as a beautiful bride whose smile and spirit is lighting up the world. Graham, I know you know it. You hit the jackpot. <laughs> Graham, welcome to the family. Graham and I have been very, very close friends since we met freshman year at Haverford, which, believe it or not, was 15 years ago, somehow. 
The kid I grew up with is in many ways the, the same person as the man we know today. A genuine, thoughtful, ambitious friend, someone who was clearly raised by two amazing parents, and thank goodness one amazing older sister who knew when to keep him in check. He and I have spent a lot of time together. We've traveled, including a rather romantic trip to Colombia, just the two of us, uh, which is to say, I, I think I know him pretty well. That's why I realized very quickly that he and Kristen would be together for a very long time. The seriousness, the urgency, and the way that he talked about her was very telling. And the first time I met her, it certainly all made sense. Graham, I want to say that I could not be gaining a better brother-in-law and I could not have wished for a better husband for my sister. And Kristen, I am so proud of you. I'm so proud of the person that you've become, both on your own as well as the way that you've developed through Graham's influence. I have so much love for the two of you and I'm so excited for what's to come. Great to welcome Kristen to the family and cannot wait for you guys to uh, be together for the years to come and to get to know you better and uh, see you guys grow and then cheers. A quick cheers, a toast to all of you guys for being here tonight, supporting us always, loving us always. And we know, you know, as we go along, as we take this path together, you'll all be there for us going forward. So thank you, cheers. And This isn't the day that we had initially planned, but we're so grateful of how it turned out. And we know that it's the way that God meant it to, to turn out and how he wanted us to get married. So yeah, raise another glass to you guys. Thank you. I thought there are lots of things a maid of honor could say to her sister on her wedding day in the speech. You know, she could tell jokes, she could tell embarrassing stories, she could roast her sister. And I thought, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna save that content for next year when there's a bigger audience. Graham, don't be so nervous, it's okay. <laughs> This time around, we'll save a couple for next year, don't worry. I remember the first time that we met Graham was about three plus years ago. It was on right about Kristen's birthday, uh, June 5th. Maybe it was on your birthday. And over that brunch, I knew something was up when Kristen reached across, now they've only been dating now for less than three months, she reached across Graham onto his plate and cut out a piece of his pancakes and ate them. <laughs> I was like, this could, be, this could be something here. You certainly recognize, especially through these last six months, there's a bug on my forehead and I hate bugs. Oh, oh okay. Whew. Now, Kristen, there are a couple of things that you need to know about Graham. Number one, if he seems unusually invested in a random sporting event, whether that's Korean League Baseball, Division II College Basketball, make sure that you start rooting very strongly for whatever team he's rooting for, okay? Especially if you want your kids to go to college. I'm just saying. It's kind of come out of this. Am I too close? Am I too close? Graham, I've seen the way that you treat Kristen and make her feel like you have all the patience in the world and all the support. Kristen, I see you're laughing, but I, I genuinely think Graham is so patient and such a great match for you in that way. 